Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Julia. And I'm Philip. Over in Japan right now with some bad internet connection, so sorry about that. Yep, and today we're going to talk about our major at the Naval Academy. So first of all, major has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with your job in the Navy. You can be any major and then you can still fly, you can be an English major and then you can be a submariner. It True. has absolutely yep. nothing to do with it. So yeah, on this next uh, slide here, we're just talking about all of the different majors. If you're interested in the Naval Academy, you've probably seen this list at some point. Um, but specifically with this list, I wanted to just talk about two things. So we're both quantitative economics majors. That's what we graduated as, but that's not actually what I started off as. So with majors at the Academy, your plebe year, your freshman year, uh, during right before you go on spring break is when it's usually done. You put in a selection to choose your major and that's the major you're really going to start specializing in your uh, sophomore year or your youngster year at the academy. And for me, I actually chose aerospace engineering as my first major, but I was uh, the kind of guy who didn't uh, study too much. Probably one of the boys who was kind of chilling and slacking and uh, yeah. I uh, struggled in that because that is definitely a major where you have to put in a lot of effort and I just wasn't doing that. So I struggled my way through that for one semester and then I actually changed majors, which you can do at the academy, mm -hmm. to quantitative economics. So after your first semester, if you don't really like it, you can change. I wouldn't recommend it. I definitely try and pick something you're going to stick with. It just makes your life easier, but mm -hmm. it is doable. So yeah. And you can uh, double major. I've known people to do that, if you, especially if you validate some classes. You can get minors in the languages. Um, yeah, there, there are a bunch of things you can do to mix it up. Yep, so just like Philip said, our major was quantitative economics. So what did we do with our major? Um, for me, I definitely studied really, really hard at the Naval Academy. Um, I graduated with 4.0 major GPA and um, overall a 3.94. Um, I think I can count on one hand of like the classes I didn't get A's in. So I got summer abroad where Ooh, I went so to, smart. okay, whatever, Philip. And then um, I went to summer abroad, I actually went to Vietnam and Cambodia for free, uh, visiting the U.S. Embassy stationed in those countries. And a lot of the summer internship and abroad programs, they're choosing based on your um, GPA, based on your grades. And also I validated a few classes. So I free up my entire semester, the entire last semester at the Naval Academy, where that allowed me to attend Johns Hopkins University Carey Business School. And I have just earned my master's degree in finance, so master of science in finance. I will actually graduate tomorrow. And as you can see in this picture, today I went to Johns Hopkins as my last day um, as a student and took a bunch of pictures with my friends. And I'm still in the same outfit and Philip. Yeah, yeah, congrats, baby. That's uh, very impressive of you. I don't know if I'll be going to grad school for a while or if I'll be going. We'll see. We'll see what, uh, how, how it all plays out. But uh, yeah, so right now, um, I just kind of, I've done what I can uh, with uh, what I have available. So obviously the Navy is like controlling like where I'm going right now. I'm in Japan mm -hmm. and there's only so much I can do, but I definitely want to make use of my degree um, and I wouldn't say it's all all like just my degree. The degree definitely helps spur interest. The teachers that I, uh, that I spent time with and talked to um, definitely helps drive me in the direction that I am. Uh, I invest in the stock market a lot. I enjoy like looking at different stocks. Um, and yeah, that was something that really started at the academy probably my sophomore year, uh, especially when I changed majors and just kind of grew out of um, like that, that new major. Like I'd learn something in class, it would interest me. I'd go look into it, see like the real world applications. And yeah, it started off as just stocks, but uh, Julia can talk about this a little bit too. But we've also both started doing some real estate. Uh, we're trying to close on a property in Guam and turn it into an investment property, which we would rent out to military in Guam. We'll probably do a separate video just talking specifically about that. And we're also uh, looking at starting an LLC. Uh, hopefully get that done soon. Uh, but yeah, Julia, you want to add anything? Um, all right. How about the next slide? I'll add something here. So um, people also ask like what degree you can do like in the military. 
Probably nothing. That's a, a very, very honest answer. So me, with my uh, 4.0 GPA and my fancy Johns Hopkins grad, like, graduate school degree, but in the Navy, I will be doing exactly the same job as someone you know, who went to community college next door, uh, I will be paid the same amount. I will not be paid extra because of my degree before, because of my, my grades or anything. So there's a saying at the Naval Academy, doesn't matter if you graduate first or if you graduate last, you will still be a sir or a man um, in the military. So yeah. it really doesn't matter that much. Like even if you got straight A's, if you like really, really good at aerospace engineering or like nuclear engineering, you're probably not gonna be an engineer in the military. You're probably gonna be doing the same job as someone who majored in English or poli sci. Yeah, I knew multiple people who were English majors and went uh, submarines where you go to nuclear power school and it's very like math intensive and math heavy. But yeah, it really doesn't matter. And what Julia just mentioned actually just reminded me at the academy, I, I was definitely that person. I heard about like John McCain who went to the academy and he graduated at the bottom of his class and super successful. and. I was like, oh, I want to be like that. You know, like your grades don't matter. You just have to pass like a 2.0 at the academy is what you need to pass. So, you know, the, some of those people who are like athletes and trying to go like special warfare or whatever, they just, they, they'll focus a lot more on that and let the grades slide. Obviously you have the people who can do both, which is super impressive. But um, I kind of was just slacking and I was like, oh, all I need is a 2.0. So I was kind of like walking that line, getting like 2.2, 2.5 for my first couple of years at the academy. I think I, I was going into my senior year with like a 2.4 and cumulative. And I was like, oof, this is not where I want to be. So I made it my goal my last year at the academy to get my grades up. Uh, so I set at a 3.0 as the goal, which is like pretty hard. Um, to do because I only had one year left and I had three years weighted like my GPA down to a 2.4. So to bring that up to 3.0 was gonna be pretty difficult. So I actually retook all the classes that I didn't do super well in. I was able to pass all my classes, but there were some classes I definitely did way worse in. So I retook some classes uh, and I overloaded my schedule, added some extra classes on there just to help bring it up. And in the end, I was actually able to bring it over just uh, above the 3.0 before I graduated. It's really impressive. And like I said before, uh, both of us are nuclear school. So both of us will go, be going to nuclear power school and we'll be nuclear engineers in the Navy, even though we're both quantitative economics major. And for that job in the, in the Navy, you need a minimum 3.0, right? Um, yeah, so they really wanted to uh, even interview for the job because you have to go through an interview with a four star admiral um, to get the interview at first they had it at like 3.2 and later on like to early select I think um, if you want to go it and say like a year before you can choose like hey I want to do this now and you can just kind of get ahead of the game with it. But um, later on, they dropped it down to like a 2.8 I like went into it with a 2.4 and was like oh I promise I'll be doing better. And um, basically, yeah, like I, I, I was able to get nuclear SWO like really late because of my grades. So I would definitely recommend having at least a 2.8. 3.0 is awesome. If you're above a 3.2 at the academy, you're doing, you're doing good things. Yeah. Uh, and then and Julia, well, side note, I think I'm definitely a positive influence on Philip. I almost like did not date Philip because of his grades. Like when he told me his GPA, I'm like, I don't know if I can date you or not. And then my mom was actually the one who convinced me to date Philip. I was like, I literally, I called my mom, like, mom's like, this guy's pursuing me. Like, he's really nice, but like, he got really low grades. I don't know if he's smart or not. Well, it turns oh, out Philip is really, really smart. So grades really don't mean that much. And I do encourage boys and girls, you know, when you're dating someone, um, like get to know the person, like look beyond the superficial stuff, like, like your like the look, I guess the grades, you know, I don't know. All right, sorry yeah. about the huge tangent. Let's bring it back to the PowerPoint. So we say in the military, your degree probably have nothing to do with your job. However, outside the military, like the potential is unlimited. Just like we said, we're investing in the stock market and the real estate market, we're trying to start our own LLC. Um, and then if you're an engineer, uh, the like you can always continue your education you can even get a phd in engineering and become an engineer after the military like after the military you you still have a life you, you can still do whatever you want with your life you know i think 
some people will say military is your life, but I kind of disagree with that. Um, I think military is just part of your life, and sorry about that. Well, best luck to you guys. Here's a picture of Philip and I studying together while we're standing watch at the main office. Um, yeah, Philip, anything else? Yeah, no, I think uh, we pretty much covered it all. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, definitely do some more videos talking about the academy, uh, just because, you know, we we went there, we spent like a good portion of our lives there. Um, we're also, we probably want to do some videos on like our finances that we briefly touched on in this, uh, in this, vid in this video and just kind of expand on that a little bit more in the future. But yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, Philip is going to get very, very rich one day because he's really good with stock market. Uh, we'll see about that. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah. 20th, 21st century Warren Buffett. No, no, definitely not. All right. Thanks All for right. watching. See you guys. Bye.